What's up guys? Classy Metal here. It is that time of the month. Metalhead box is here. Uh, this month, the box itself was uh, quite a bit larger than, than what we've been getting. Um, I was excited to see the box this size. You never know what you're going to get each month. Uh, I kind of had a feeling this month I had been uh, watching uh, some spoilers and that type stuff. If you're not familiar with Metalhead Box, I know at this point, if you're watching this video, you probably are. But they're a monthly subscription service uh, that sends all kinds of stuff to your doorstep each and every month. Uh, they just started doing the cassette, vinyl, and uh, I think the mini Metalhead bo Boxes are back um, through subscription. They brought all of those back this month. So I know some of you will be excited about that, that you can sign up for those, uh, those different areas of the Metalhead Box. They throw... All kinds of different stuff in there. Um, I do the regular metalhead box, and I do not do genre specific. I do the all metal option, and just because I like to be surprised, and I I don't really want to know uh, for sure, especially when you see spoilers everywhere. I like I like the surprise and and kind of not knowing exactly what I'm going to be getting. Uh, this month uh, there was quite a bit of stuff in this box. I was pretty impressed with the amount of material. Uh, that they presented to us. Just going to jump right into this. Uh, first up, the autographs came back this month as well. We received a, an autograph from uh, Kyle Thomas, the vocalist fr from the uh, New Orleans, Louisiana Thrash uh, Project X Hoarder. I actually have a buddy that is uh, neighbors with uh, Kyle. Uh, my buddy Troy, who used to do YouTube videos uh, under the Metal Kid uh, moniker, ha hasn't done videos in quite some time. Uh, moved to uh, New Orleans not too long ago, and uh, Kyle is actually a pretty close neighbor, and he sent me pictures uh, through Messenger at some point. I know at one point uh, Kyle had brought uh, Troy over some, some beans and rice, and uh, he actually sent me a picture of that, so that's pretty neat to see uh, Kyle featured in this month's Metalhead Box. I love the uh, the most recent x Order album as well. I think it was uh, Morning Under the Southern Skies. I think that was the name of it. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. Uh, I don't even know what to grab next to show you guys. Uh, we've got this uh, Screaming for Vengeance Judas Priest pin. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. We'll try to show it. Because it is a pretty detailed. Oh, it almost focused. But at this point, you guys already know uh, what the Screaming for Vengeance album cover. I mean, I don't have to, I don't have to spell that one out for you. Judas Priest, a band that I am severely lacking uh, owning material from. I only own two of their albums in my collection. I would like to change that. The stuff usually you can find their albums fairly cheap as well. I don't know why I've been so severely lacking in, in picking up uh, Judas Priest material for the for the collection. I, I don't know what what's going on there. Uh, next up. This one was pretty neat. This was probably the, the reason for the box being so big this month. It had a lot of extra uh, kind of bubble wrap and packaging to keep it from uh, from breaking in transit. We have this uh, kind of play on Dark Throne. It says uh, Dark Roast. And then it has the uh, little uh, black metal guy there on the back uh, drinking out of his mug. Uh, pretty neat. I do not drink coffee. Uh, I, actually, I've had nothing but water um since february so usually uh, we've gotten several of these little mugs at this point between the mugs and the little uh, tumbler cups they become uh, mainly display pieces for me in, here in my man cave i know one has a bunch of ink, ink pens and markers and stuff in it and i just kind of display the stuff uh sometimes i put toys in them just display them uh, along the uh, the top rims of my my shelving, but I thought that was neat. I like the little play on a dark throne there where it says a uh, dark roast. I got a patch from the uh, German death metal band Morgoth. Uh, I do not own any Morgoth either. That's another uh, area that I'm, I'm severely lacking. Uh, pretty solid. I enjoy their death metal. I did not enjoy the industrial uh, little thing that they did there, but as far as uh, their death metal, uh, project uh, projects I guess go I do enjoy that they're no longer around as far as uh, a band but I did uh, I do enjoy Morgoth and, and probably need to add some of that into my collection as well I got a sticker from the band Mortuous uh, solid death metal on the uh, Tank Crimes uh, label with uh, Necrot and some other some other pretty decent bands 
Uh, if you've not heard their 2018 uh, release through Wilderness, uh, I highly suggest you do so, uh, especially if you're into death metal. It's one of the, the better uh, death metal releases that I've heard probably in the last five years. So definitely uh, check that one out if you have not. Uh, then there was this little uh, promotional card from uh, Carbonized Records. There's the uh, Steel Bearing Hand, Slaying Hell album, uh, good Texas thrashy goodness, thrashy death metal. I guess, yeah, I guess that I'll call them thrashy death metal. And then there's a uh, split that they're um, advertising on here. It's Mortiferum with Hyperdonia, 7-inch. I have not heard that, so I may have to go check that one out just because. Uh, they did the little flyer. Uh, the shirt this month, I was super happy to get this one. I, I saw, I've seen spoilers, and uh, I dug both shirts. The the overcome or overthrow overcome overthrow uh, shirt was uh, overthrow was actually uh, one of in the very first metalhead box that I ever purchased. I got that reissue CD in there. So, but uh, this month I've got the Spectral Wound uh, Canadian black metal band. Released a killer, killer album this year uh, entitled a, a, Di a, a Diabolic Thirst. Um, easily going to end up on my end of the year list. That album is that good. If you have not heard that and you're into black metal, definitely check out uh, Spectral Wound with uh, A Diabolic Thirst. This shirt, I don't know how well you can make it out. I mean, it is the uh, black metal. <laughs> you kind of got the table, looks like, with uh, maybe a chalice. On the bottom, it says uh, "Soul Destroying Black Debauch Debauchery." Um, I think that's the title of a track on that newest release. I've uh, ordered that album. I'm still waiting on it to come in the mail, so hopefully it will be here. I've been listening to the stream uh, on Bandcamp. Uh, I've been streaming that quite a bit, so hopefully the the actual physical album will be here uh, sometime in the very near future. I, I did receive this uh, box today. I know usually I say that I like to uh, spend a day or so with the albums and listen to that. And uh, one of the, my favorite things through Metalhead Box is uh, finding new music and stuff that I had not heard otherwise. Unfortunately, that was not the case this month. Uh, both of the albums that I received in the box this month, I had already pre-ordered and owned. Uh, this one actually arrived today with the metalhead box i got the metalhead box and this pre-order in on the same uh, exact day that it was kind of a funny coincidence i have been listening to uh the stream on on Bandcamp since it was released it was released earlier uh this week this is a grave ripper with uh, radiated remains uh this is blackened i guess blackened thrash and roll uh, black and thrash out of uh, indiana I have to give uh, my buddy Ryan, Metal Viking 82, a plug on this. He was the person that introduced me to Grave Ripper, so I do thank him for that. It is a, a solid, solid project out of Indiana. Uh, they're gaining some, some momentum, gaining some speed, and some notoriety uh, as of late because I've been seeing them shared around quite a bit and uh, totally, totally deserving. They are a stellar, stellar project if you have not heard grave ripper uh, i highly suggest you do so uh this was released on wise blood records it also contains uh the three tracks that were on the um complete blinding darkness ep uh, i think that was a digital only uh ep that they released um last year and then they threw them on the the physical that came out with our radiated remains so that's awesome um uh, Stellar release. I'm not knocking Metalhead Box. I mean, when I mean when you have a huge collection, that is only two shelves that you're seeing behind me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six shelves total like that, and then a smaller one. So I mean, you're gonna get duplicates. I've gotten a duplicate here and there through Metalhead Box. This was the first month that both of the CDs that I got were uh, albums that I had already ordered. So I, I can't knock them on that because. Had I not already ordered these albums, I would have been super impressed getting these in because they are stellar releases. Uh, the other one that I got this month is the uh, newest. This came out in April. Uh, this is the newest release from the Texas band Still Bearing Hand. Um, they are thrashy death metal and uh, fantastic stuff. Very catchy. 
Uh, there's a track on here called Tomb Spawn that I absolutely love. I think it's track number three. And uh, if you're into death metal, especially that there's this huge kind of a resurgence of that thrashy death metal stuff going on. If you're into that at all, uh, I highly suggest you check out Steel Bearing Hand because they are phenomenal, phenomenal uh, masters of their craft. Uh, as I said when I looked at the little flyer, uh, promotional flyer that was in here, this was released on Carbonized Records. Good stuff here. Uh, if you want to check them out, check out the uh, Tomb Spawn track. I will link up the band camps for both Grave Ripper and Steel Bearing Hand in the description. That way, if you guys want to check it out, give them a listen. Definitely go do that. Maybe support and uh, purchase your own copies from the bands. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do uh, with these extras yet. Please don't jump in the comments and ask if you can just have them. I'll tell you right now, no. Um, I may put them up in the trade group. I may throw them on Discogs for sale. I may, I don't know, I may do a giveaway at some point. I'm not really certain what I'm going to do with these extras, but I will put them to the side. Um, I will also link up the Metalhead Box website. That way you can go check them out, check the different options they have on their boxes, and perhaps get your own box. Uh, for for the uh, for what you get, it's a phenomenal deal. Uh, it's a it's a I, I look forward each and every month to getting this box in the mail. So I was checking the tracking. I was having a rough day at work, and I was when I found out that it was being delivered today. It was a a definite little pick me up so that's always a good thing to have a pick me up and I will probably be wearing this one to work tomorrow because uh, just the simple fact that this this band put out such a a killer killer release this year uh, that is definitely the high point of this box for me this month that's all I've got for today uh, thank you guys I just hit 2,000 subscribers I have blown past that uh, I am completely overwhelmed with that and I thank you guys very, very much. Um, I've got a little something that I'm working on. I'm, I'm trying to decide exactly how I'm going to do it. But I have, I know at one point when I, when I hit a milestone on this channel, I did the, uh, the Toe of Satan uh, Sucker Challenge. I have something similar in the works that I'm working on. And that will be coming up in the somewhat near future. I will, I'll have to uh, get the logistics of that hammered out. And then I'll have that video up for you guys. Once again, thank you guys so much. Stay classy, stay metal. Check out Metalhead Box. Check out Grave Ripper. Check out Steel Bearing Hand. And I will see you guys very soon. I promise.